Hello students and my dear friends, myself, Madhu Vancha, Associate Professor of Microbiology. In this session, we'll discuss some of the important microbiology MCQs. First question, Jika virus disease is transmitted by option A, sandfly, option B, Aedes mosquito, option C, Culex mosquito, option D, all of the above. Here, the right answer is option B, Aedes mosquito. Jika virus, it is transmitted through the bite of the Aedes mosquito. And if you see uh, the same mosquito, that is Aedes mosquito, it also transmits uh, other viral infections such as dengue, chikungunya, and yellow fever. What are the symptoms of the Jika virus? So they are like uh, uh, same like of other viral fevers such as fever, headache, joint pains, rashes and bloodshot in eyes and see this virus it is also transmitted from pregnant mother to the fetus and it causes birth defects especially microcephaly and this Jika virus it is confirmed by RT-PCR and if you see other options sand fly the so sand fly it transmits kalaja oriental sore sand fly fever etc and if you see Culex mosquito, Culex mosquito, it transmit West Nile virus, filariasis, Japanese encephalitis, etc. Next question, how many categories of biomedical waste are there? Option A, 5. Option B, 7. Option C, 8. Option D, 4. Here the right answer is option D, 4. New biomedical waste rules, uh, they have been notified in the year 2016 on 28th March 2016. So these uh, categories, new medical waste rules, they replace the earlier rules such as 1998 rules and amendments were uh, made in the year 2016, uh, sorry, amendments were made in the biomedical waste rules 2016 in the year 2018 and 2019. So according to the new rules, four categories are there. So these four categories, they are based upon the color coding of bags for the segregation of waste. Next question, which of the following bacteria can act as indicator of fecal pollution of drinking water? Option A, E. coli. Option B, Bacillus subtilis. Option C, diphtheroids. Option D, all of the above. Here, the right answer is option A, E. coli. E. coli, it is the intestinal flora. It is a normal flora of the intestines of man as well as animals. So it is uh, excreted in the like stool. So it is called as the sewage bacteria. And if you see other options such as Bacillus subtilis, Bacillus subtilis, it is a soil bacteria. So this is also present in the water, especially during heavy rains. So during the like heavy rains, so this bacteria like uh, that is uh, washed into the lake of water. So they are not uh, normal inhabitants of the water. So Bacillus subtilis is generally present in the soil. And the diphtheroids, they are the normal flora of the skin and the mucous membranes. Here, the right answer is Escherichia coli. Next question, the most important bacterial cause of sore throat is? Option A, Streptococcus pyogenes. Option B, Staphylococcus aureus. Option C, Staphylococcus epidermidis. Option D, all of the above. Here the right answer is option A, Streptococcus pyogenes. Streptococcus pyogenes causes sore throat, that is respiratory tract infections. If you see Staphylococcus aureus, it causes pyogenic infections, that is pus forming infections. And Staphylococcus epidermidis, it is a skin commensal, normal flora of the skin. Uh, generally, it is a opportunistic pathogen. It causes infections in the patients with artificial heart walls. Next question, which of the following tests may be used for diagnostic of rheumatic fever? Option A, ASO test, that is anti-streptolysin O test. And option B, anti-streptokinase antibody detection. Option C, streptogyme test. And option D, all of the above. Here the right answer is option D, all of the above. If you see, Acute rheumatic fever, uh, this occurs in persons who had uh, previously affected by streptococcal sore throat. 
and this is uh, autoimmune reaction or immune complex reaction rheumatic fever is one of the post streptococcal complications so generally we do the aso test uh, anti streptokinase test and the streptogyme test so if you see aso titer that is uh, more than 200 tod units per ml it is a significant of rheumatic fever and it indicates post streptococcal complications and if you see anti streptogyme test it is a passive slide agglutination slide hemagglutination test next question in which year the first case of hiv infection was found in india option a 1984 option b 1985 option b 1986 option d 1987 here the right answer is option option c that is in the year 1986 in india the first case of hiv infection it was found in the year in the year 1986 that is in female sex workers in chennai and in the same year the first aids patient was found in the mumbai next question which of the following bacteria produce saccharolytic reaction in cmb cooked meat broth option a clostridium perforigenis option b clostridium tetani option c pseudomonas aeruginosa option d all of the above here the right answer is clostridium perforigenis so if you see clostridium perforigenis it is a saccharolytic bacteria it turns the meat pieces into red color in case of cmb cmb consists of uh, cooked meat so minced meat particles so this clostridium perforigenis it turns meat pieces into red color and if you see clostridium tetani clostridium tetani it is a proteolytic uh, bacteria it turns meat pieces into black color and pseudomonas aerogenesis is aerobic if you see clostridium they are anaerobic next question which of the following may cause teratogenic infections option a taxoplasma option b cytomegalovirus option c rubella virus option d all of the above here the right answer is option a all of the above so what is mean by teratogenic infections so teratogenic infections means which causes uh, congenital disorders or congenital infections so if you see taxoplasma cytomegalovirus and rubella virus so these uh, microorganisms they can cross through the placenta and they infect the fetus so they causes like teratogenic infections so here the short form for teratogenic infections is torch complex so what this torch complex include so t stands for taxoplasma gonadi and o o stands for others such as tryponema pallidum which causes syphilis r r stands for rubella virus and c c stands for cytomegalovirus and h h stands for herpes simplex virus next question the chemical nature of endotoxin is option a lipopolysaccharide option b protein option c carbohydrate option d none of the above here the right answer is option a lipopolysaccharide here if you see uh, the chemical nature of endotoxin is lipopolysaccharide whereas chemical nature of exotoxin is protein and endotoxins they form the integral part of the cell wall of gram negative bacteria and endotoxins they are released from the bacterial surface by natural lysis of the bacteria or by disintegration of the cell wall and if you see exotoxins exotoxins they directly diffuse into the surrounding medium next question steam sterilization at 100 degrees centigrade for 20 minutes on three successive days is known as option a tindalization option b inspiration option c pasteurization option d vaccine bath here the right answer is option a tindalization in the tindalization uh, it is one of the moist heat method of sterilization where uh, we sterilize the like culture media at 100 degrees centigrade for 20 minutes for three successive days so it is also called as intermittent sterilization this tindalization is uh, it was given by scientist john tindall next question combined 
passive and active immunization is often undertaken in option a tetanus option b diphtheria option c rabies and option d all of the above here the right answer is option d all of the above so in case of diphtheria tetanus and rabies along with the passive immunoprophylaxis uh, active immunization is also given so this active immunization is done by giving of inactivated vaccines and remember so passive immunization is always done by giving of uh, immunoglobulins so this passive immunization gives immediate protection but it is for short lasting only that is for two to three weeks and uh, active immunization is done by vaccines and vaccines they slowly develop the immunity so these uh, both injections like uh, immunoglobulins and uh, vaccines they are administered at the same time at different sites or separate sites next question how many doses of tetanus toxide should be given to a pregnant woman who is not uh, vaccinated for tetanus previously option a one option b two option c three and option d four here the right answer is option b two here two doses of tetanus toxide uh, it should be given uh, at an interval of four weeks if they are not vaccinated previously so for first pregnancy so we should give like two two t injections with four weeks interval if a woman is already vaccinated with two tt doses in a pregnancy within the last three years then only single dose is given and this single dose act as the booster dose and see this booster dose it should be given before the 36 weeks but uh, it can be given even uh, if 36 weeks have been passed next question the selective media for isolating bacillus cereus from stool is option a plate medium option b mannitol egg yolk polymyxin agar option c buffered charcoal yeast extract agar option d mannitol salt agar here the right answer is option b mannitol egg yolk polymyxin agar Next question, which of the following is used commercially for sterilization of disposable plastic items? Option A, ethylene oxide. Option B, autoclave. Option C, glutenaldehyde. Option D, ethyl alcohol. Here, the right answer is option A, ethylene oxide. Next question, Kaposi sarcoma occurred at a 20 times higher rate among HIV patients who acquired infections via option A, blood transmission, option B, heterosexual, option C, vertical transmission, option D, MSM. Here, the right answer is option D, that is MSM, that is men sex with the men. So, we can see uh, Kaposi sarcoma, like a higher rate in case of uh, like a uh, homosexual, that is men sex with the men. Thank you.